What's up everyone, DDOT here, and for this video, to start off, I wanted to get the special offer here. You get two rare items, you get a premium chest and the pearl diver stuff. So let's crack that open and let's see what we get. So <clears throat> let's see what we get here. So we get two cells, one rare, one epic, one of the evolution items, and one rare item. I don't remember what that's called. So, today I want to show some builds for the challenge league that I'm in. Let's see. I'm in top 10 for challenger 3. So, at the end of the season, basically what happens here is... Everyone that's here within the top 125 will have the potential to move up to the next league. But then there's the cutoff here after X amount of ranks. So the first cutoff to get to Challenger 2 would be 59 and above. So everyone here that placed above 59 to 12 will be in Challenger 2. And then from 11th place all the way up to 3rd place will be in Challenger 1. And then the top two will be moved on to the other leagues. The Warrior Leagues. So, right now I am currently in 6th place. So right now I have the potential to move up to Challenger 1. So, not too bad. But I wanted to show out the show the loadout that I have been using for the last few, I think about a day or so, and it's an MK2 shooter build with a level four rare cannon, level four rare blast cannon. I still have a common napalm launcher, a level ten, and an uncommon standard shield at level 5. So what's very important is that upgrading your stuff is very important. That's really what holds you back from moving up on the uh, the ladder. And it's better right now until you reach level 10 to try out different weapons just to figure out and see what you like and whatnot, and you'll be able to find some playstyles. But for me, I chose these three weapons because the first one here, it's very, it's very easy to pick up. It's the cooldown is five seconds, so you'll have it. And depending on your crew's uh, loadout, you'll have a faster reload time. So you'll always have this handy and all available. Blast cannon, very good. It deals high amount of damage. And to be able to interchange between those two, you won't have that much time where you can't shoot or anything. And then napalm launcher, even though it's a common, I'm running it for different reasons than just damage. Napalm launcher is very good when you can understand the flow of the match so say like if a bunch of enemy ships are like clumped together or the battle is like going towards like a corner or something like that you're able to use the napalm launcher and either cut off the supporting boats that are going to those uh, other boats to help them out or you can surround those other boats with at that choke point so that way they have to choose either to go through the fire and take the damage or or sit back and then you actually divide their uh, their team so napalm launcher is a very good control type of you control the tempo or the control of the game if you if it's done well correctly so that's why I chose napalm launcher even though it's a common that's what I use it for and then standard shield, I have 
my crew leveled up to tier four, but I'm running 45% uh, more uh, health to shields. So this right here, shields help you stay on the battlefield a lot longer. And just another quick note too is when you reach level 10 on any cards, you need a level requirement, which is what the level tier two talent is, and then the right amount of cells. So this one, I need 10 cells to upgrade this card. And what upgrading does, it gives you a perk slot, as right here, where I have one empty one and then two other ones at different tiers. So evolving it allows you to put perks on it, which is like, extra health or extra crit damage or extra range stuff like that but one of the things that's very important to note and I'm sure you can tell in my inventory is that I have a lot of duplicates and the reason is is because you need not only do you need the correct items you also need a duplicate of the item in order to evolve the certain weapon or whatnot so I don't have an extra napalm launcher, but you need one card, an extra card to upgrade it. So since we just opened that pack, I have another uh, shield that I want to put on. Okay. So now let's jump into a match and show you some gameplay with my MK2 shooter build. So, you want to play as a team, because if you guys split, I'd say like three go one way and one goes the other way, and if the other team is playing correctly, they'll be able to overwhelm whatever side that you guys are going on, and they'll be able to clean up the other side, so just be aware that it's very important to stick together however don't clump up so much because good players will know how to punish that see that guy he tried to overextend but now he has to retreat See, right here is not a good situation for me. So let's see how, how our teammates are doing. So we do have a fixer on our team. It's very important to make sure that he stays alive because that's the difference between of being able to clutch out a match or if you guys are just gonna lose or if you get overwhelmed. So this team, they're playing very well together. They've stuck together. They move as a unit. So it's very important to learn how to use the waves for for cover and know when to not overextend or you will be overwhelmed as we saw what happened with me. So but 
it takes some practice to getting used to and like I said it's very important to to upgrade your stuff that's very important so hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time